as Prince Harry and Meghan Marco released the last three episodes of their explosive docuseries this morning, many of their friends and collaborators made appearances in the program. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's friends, including Suits actress Abigail Spencer and Prince Ciazoa's King Letzi III, Ignacio Nacho Figueres, were among those to sit down in front of the camera, as well as Meghan's mother Doria Ragland. Meanwhile, from Tyler Perry to Serena Williams and Archie's former nanny, find out more about Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's friends and the commentators who appeared in their Netflix docuseries. Of course, Serena Williams, who equally isn't shy about her friendship with Prince Harry's wife, previously advised Meghan to stop being so nice and also praised her class and poise in the famous Oprah interview. In an Instagram post, the tennis star cheered on the royal for being open about her mental health and how she considered suicide. According to Mark Hodgkinson and Serena, a graphic biography of the greatest tennis champion, the women's friendship quickly evolved through frequent phone calls and texts. At the time, Serena wrote, Meghan Marco, my selfless friend, lives her life, and led by example, with empathy and compassion. She teaches me every day what it means to be truly noble. Her words illustrate the pain and cruelty she experienced. I know firsthand the sexism and racism institutions and the media use to vilify women of color to minimize us, to break us down and to demonize us. Meghan met Serena Williams briefly in 2010, and again in 2014, explaining on her now defunct blog the tig that the pair hit it off immediately. The Duchess invited the sportswoman to her wedding to Prince Harry and her star-studded baby shower when pregnant with Archie in New York City in February. After becoming Prince Harry's girlfriend and then a Duchess, Meghan leaned on Serena for mentoring on how to handle the paparazzi and the international media. More recently, Meghan invited Serena onto the first episode of her Archetypes podcast. In the Netflix series, Serena makes several appearances throughout the show to talk about Prince Harry and Meghan's relationship. Talking about the wedding, the athlete said her friend was courageous for choosing music from her culture. At the nuptials, the Kingdom Choir Gospel group performed Stand By Me in This Little Light of Mine. Speaking briefly in the Netflix documentary, Serena said, to have her, Meghan's, culture represented at that wedding was amazing. I loved it. And I thought it was really courageous and breaking boundaries without trying to. Tyler Perry played a central role in the final three episodes of Meghan and Harry's docuseries, in which he revealed how he ended up offering the couple his $18 million Beverly Hills home when they needed a place to stay in March 2020. The director and actor explained that he reached out to Meghan ahead of the Sussex's May 2018 wedding. I'm not a royal watcher. I don't really pay attention to a lot of stuff, he said. But I saw something about her father posing for the paparazzi. I found it to be hurtful if he were my father. And I couldn't even imagine this woman finding the man that she loved, the man of her dreams, and him being a prince, and then to walk into all of that madness and need the security of family and then have your father do some horrible things. Prince Ciazo is King Let's CIII of Lesotho's younger brother, much like Harry is Prince William's younger brother. As Prince Ciazo and Prince Harry shared in Harry and Meghan, the royals have been friends since 2004, when Harry went on an extended trip to Lesotho amid a flood of negative press stories about him in the UK. The pair ended up becoming close friends, drawn together by their love of giving back, with Prince Ciazo saying in the docuseries as he felt a warmth and willingness to learn from Harry. I could see that Harry is very much his mother, Ciso said. In a clip shown in the documentary, Harry added that Ciso's mother inspired their work to help children with AIDS. His mother died shortly before I met him. Bearing in mind we both lost our mums, it didn't take very long until we became like brothers, Harry said in Harry and Meghan of his friendship with Ciso, with Harry going on to visit Lesotho almost annually after their initial meeting. While Prince Harry's long-term friend Argentine polo player Ignacio Nacho Figueres also appears in the docuseries. He has been a vocal supporter of the Duke and Duchess, 
and was there in the early days of the couple's romance and later a guest at their wedding. In the final episode, he spoke about the couple's desire to live a normal life in Los Angeles. The father of four was among a handful of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's closest confidants who have appeared in the show. Nacho was among the first to meet the Meghan and Harry's son Archie in 2019, who features heavily in the new series about the royals. In interviews published before her relationship with Prince Harry became public, Meghan gushed about her amazing and inspiring friend Heather. Heather Dorak runs the Pilots Platinum brand, which the Duchess started attending in Los Angeles when she starred in Suits. It is believed to be how the pair met. She has been a key part of her North American inner circle since Meg exit, visiting Prince Harry and Meghan in Canada in January 2020 shortly after they left the UK after stepping back as senior royals. Heather appears in the fourth episode, credited as being one of Meghan's friends. On her Instagram story, the fitness professional also revealed she did the Duchess makeup for her face-to-camera interviews in the program. Claire Waite Keller as the artistic director of the fashion house Givenchy, Claire Waite Keller designed Meghan Markle's wedding dress, a minimalist silk outfit without lace or other embellishments. Appearing on episode 4 of Harry and Meghan's Netflix documentary, she said, looking at the design of the dress, there were many conversations about how you want to present yourself to the world. Thank you for watching our latest video about the royal family. We always try to regularly update the latest news videos about the British royal family to meet your requirements. Our channel always has an objective, multi-dimensional view of the news. My main goal is just to entertain people. Hope you enjoy this news. If you have any questions or requests about content to watch, please leave a comment below this video of us.